You can't have failed to notice that the issue of swine flu is in the news at the moment, dominating the front page of some of the national papers today. So to get uh, to the heart of the matter, let's say, and some of the facts rather than some of the scare stories, I'm joined by Dr Kevin Perrett, who is a consultant in public health. Welcome to Channel M today. Um, swine flu panic is a headline on one of the front pages mm. of the newspapers today. Should we be at panic stations, Dr Perrett? No, we shouldn't be panicking. This is flu. It's like the flu that many of us get every winter. It's not more serious than that, and a lot of us are going to get it, but I don't think we need to panic now. So why has the media been so taken with the idea of swine flu? To be honest with you, Andy, you're probably better placed to explain the media's reaction to these things than, than me. I mean, it seemed the media for quite a few weeks weren't too overblown about this, but they are starting to... Uh, speculate a lot and raise a lot of concerns. I think we do because need... we're starting to see some infections in this country yeah, and yeah. sadly some sure, deaths. Sure, we are. We are in Manchester as well, though we're not as affected in Manchester as Birmingham and London, which have seen a lot more cases. There have been deaths, but relatively limited number of deaths. And considering in countrywide we've had thousands of cases now, um, the death rate is fortunately very low indeed and lower probably than seasonal flu in fact. So if somebody you know gets it or if a child at your child's school gets it, no need to keep the children at home? No, I think we need to carry on as normal. The key thing, and this is the really important thing for all of us, whether it's a child at school or a worker at a, in a hospital or indeed a worker in an office, is to stay at home if you think you've got it and stay away from other people, rest, take fluids, take home remedies, but stay away from other people and if you think you've got it. And how will you know you've got it? What are the symptoms? Basically, it's proper flu. We all of us every winter get colds and sniffles. And say you know. we've got the flu, yes, but we have we do. And we? I, I've probably done it myself, if I'm being honest. But this is proper flu. This is, I don't want to get out of bed, high fever, not just a little bit hot and cold, but actually really hot, maybe shivering and shaking with a high temperature, which we call rigors. Um, very high temperature, um, really poorly in bed, and the sort of things you'd expect, cough, heavy cold. So stay away from people if you have those symptoms. Sure, absolutely. What about vaccination? The government is planning to vaccinate us all, I believe. Yeah, that's right. The whole of the country will be vaccinated. When? Two doses how, each. how quickly? When it's going to start isn't clear at the moment. Um, it's been said it could start as early as August, but I suspect it may be more autumn time. And certainly the chief medical officer said the other day it was autumn. What's key to understand about it is it will take about a whole year to get enough vaccine. We'll immunise people as quickly as we get the vaccine, basically. But it will take about a year to manufacture enough vaccine for the whole of the population. Because there so, are worries that this will come back um, and hit us harder in the winter. Yeah, we're going to see cases over the summer. How many cases we're going to see over the summer, we don't know. Now schools are closing, maybe that'll help. Um, but I think uh, we, we expect to see more cases in the winter. A proper proper wave, if you like, a proper seasonal flu-style uh, situation in the winter when lots of us will get it, maybe 30%, 40%, 50% of the population. We don't know. It's only predictions. 50% of the population? Possibly, That's a yeah. lot of people off work at yeah, one time, not, isn't not it? Not necessarily all ill, though. What we have to remember about this is going to be very variable. Some of us will be quite poorly with it, but a lot of people will get infected and they'll have no symptoms at all or very minor symptoms. So though we could have 50% of us uh, getting this infection over the winter and becoming immune, probably only half of those people will have any great symptoms. And fortunately, very few will be really ill with it. And the 0800 number there is for information of yep. people who want to yep. know a little yep. bit more. Sure. But I think you've explained it uh, very concisely. Thanks very much indeed for You're coming welcome. in.